Before this building operated as a dormitory for government convicts, those men slept in town. They looked after their own lodgings, their own clothing, and their own food. They preferred this arrangement to being controlled in a building like this and having all of their waking hours devoted to government service. So in order for Governor Macquarie to ensure that this building was filled with the requisite number of men, he put on a feast on June the 4th in 1819, a feast of roast beef, plum pudding, and most critically, rum punch. This was an incentive to get the men here, and they enjoyed a hearty lunch, and the governor dropped by to say hello. To mark that event, we've invited our current governor, Governor Margaret Beasley, to join us today at the barracks, along with a group of school children, to recreate that memorable event. It was very important for Governor Macquarie, as we know he had a great sense of order and discipline, very important for him to ensure that the convicts didn't continue their criminal activity, and that was occurring to some degree. He was going to improve not only their lives, um, their rehabilitation, but also the life in the colony, which he was very concerned to make a civil society. The children, dressed in replica convict shirts, sat down to a plate of food, not quite to their liking, but very authentic. They received words from the governor. They gave both Governor Okori and her uh, three cheers, and they received a ticket of leave each before they left. It's been fun being here today. I've been here with extraordinary intelligent children who, even though they had a little of the history of the place, uh, were nonetheless extraordinarily articulate uh, and engaging in the questions that they asked. And that really does go to show, I think, that by making history a living history and by making it their history, um, we will build up in, in our future generations a real love of history and an understanding of what went before in order to give them what they have today. The Hyde Park Barracks is a critical part of the Australian story. It not only marks a turning point in the lives of convicts in 1819, but it is UNESCO World Heritage listed as part of a suite of convict sites that bring this history alive for us today.